Oh, I just popped out to a local Raymark. Uh, been fishing here for a while. But there's been a few rays being caught, so uh, I thought I'd give it a go. Literally just pulled up. Got the gear out. Just gonna get set up. Not really had much air in the daytime to be honest yet. Yeah. It's Sunday morning, so here or not. I, don't know. I don't know what the wind noise is like, it's blowing the northeast quite strong down the river. But I'll get up set up and I'll get back to you. Right, gear wise, just standard rain gear really. T9s, saltest loaded with, still got winter line on, 25 pound uh, sea drill. Been using that line, it's quite a nice line actually. Sit beds in lovely. Uh, standard poly rig. I think that's a Sakuma and a 4 0 very vast circle on the top. Put the first one out with a bit of bluey. Pick some. Uh, pick some small blueies off from Southwest Sea Bakes. I haven't had them in for a while and I'll do quite like bluey for rain. I don't really expect anything out here in the daytime. Me personally, I've never done that well here in the daytime, but I know a lot of people have, so. someone out there. Let's get him out there. Right, I just set up the next rod. This rod here, although I'm trying for a ray, I've put on a, a stepped up um, loop rig. So basically, i turn it so okay, so the loop rig that you use for placing. The only difference is I've made it out of 100 pound, 100 pound line, 100 pound traces with four O's on. Um, more as a scratching rig really, although I'm after rail, I am fishing a little mat, a little league, so you do get a few uh, thornies down here as well, so I'm going to bait up one with sand eel, uh, medium sand eels from Matt at Southwest Sea Baits, probably the best bait I've used for a long time. Um, and on the top arc I'm going to use a couple of prawns because prawns does do really well down here especially with the small eyes if you fish it live in the autumn it does really well but like I say, I've never tried it down here in the daytime so not midday anyway I have come in early evening and fished it through to the dark but personally myself I've never had a I've never had a ray here in the daylight so hopefully we can change the day but I'll bait this up and I'll show you how it clips together in a minute just clip this loop rig up, show you how it goes to gammer. You probably don't know, but I'll show you anyway.
one. Just one of the little uh, cascade. It's cascade clip show. Managed to get both rods out. It's a bit flowy, like I said, but they're both out, so hopefully there'll be someone out there. Fingers crossed. Even a dog, I do. I just brought the bluey in. That was untouched, so I'm gonna bait up with a tri-bit prawn. Sometimes smaller baits. You know, you fish, fish a big bluey bait or a squid in sand here and nothing touches it and you fish a prawn you know, a lot smaller bait and you think how do they find it, especially in the dark but the rays seem to own in on this stuff even when it's frozen uh, Wind's horrible it's proper cold northeasterly blowing down the river a lot of tucking out of it here Sometimes they spin, so I'll take that off.
there's only it's only narrow the same side there, I don't think you can see it with the sun but there it is there I was just fishing in the mouth really still pretty quiet, not had a bite yet just brought in the bluey that was untouched uh, Sandy was crabbed off but yeah, tough going at the minute but it is daytime don't really expect too much but um, got to carry on I suppose hopefully there'll be someone out there I normally bring a seat box out here I, I used to bring a seat box just for so you can see it, see all your gear really in the box but I've been using this uh, rocker lately and I've got to say it's probably the best rocker I've had well pulled out got the straps on the top there if you, if you want to put your um, smocks or whatever on or, but it takes a full rig wallet in the side these pockets, decent side pockets place for your keys both sides and a hard bottom on it which is a game changer for me especially if you're fishing the reefs or like the mine head where you're fishing on the wet sand all the time and a, and a seat box is a right ball like to carry it's got to be I mean the, the actual design of it you, it's, it's swapped on for me I was well happy when they brought that out it's very similar to the old Daiwa one, I used to have one of them years ago and uh, s s a lot more pockets on this one yeah, real, real happy with that like you say, the massive pockets like you say, that's a full size rig wallet there sits, goes right in there, shuts down and that hard bottom is a game changer it's really, really comfortable on your back as well So, oh. just hope the fishing picks up. Nothing happening at the minute. Trying all sorts of baits. Just changing the rig. I've just put a um, up and over on now. Put some try an extra large eel. Actually, bang on. I see XLs, and you can see the size of them, decent size eel. Perfect for rays. But it's absolutely uh, nothing out there. Just found out that one of the lads had a small odd here last night at 12, 12 4 I think it was, so gives you a bit of encouragement. See, I've just seen a picture and it was all in the daylight, so that's uh, give me a bit of hope, sort of thing. So, me personally, I've not had anything here in the daylight, so seeing others catching them gives you a bit of encouragement. Kept the poly on. This is uh, an up and over, up and over with the uh, trident clips. I don't know if any of you may have seen them. I usually, usually use them on the uh, placing rigs. It's just this little SRT spring there. Basically, it comes up over the top, clips onto whatever bait clip you got. There it is. 
ready to go. Hopefully something takes it. Like I say, I haven't had a touch yet. Baits are coming back a little bit crabbed off, but enough enough to catch a fish. It's just that there's nothing there. I mean, it's not bright sunshine, so you got a chance or something. We'll get this one out and uh, hopefully we'll see something before the night goes. I mean, it's not staying mega late, I'm going to give it a sort of like the water's four o'clock today. I'll probably give it to uh, like four hours off or something like that. I usually you tend to get a fish around the half tide, me personally. But um, seeing the fish caught yesterday look, in the daylight gives you, you know, a chance that they are there. So. One extra RGU you out now. One out with Sandy with squid. I may try a bit of crab in a minute. I've got a few peters there. Be just nice to see a fish on camera. Looks like I haven't done a video for ages, but a few people on um, YouTube saying when you get the camera out. So first time in probably since last last spring. I would have thought I did one on the place in, but yeah, I'll do a bit more this year. Fingers crossed, so it turns up. Well, there's absolutely nothing happening, there's a power out there. I'm just gonna try and grab. Peel the crab down. River, see if there's a bass or anything in there, or anything really. Same, not a touch of any description. Two way bet with this, We've got a chance of a ray. or anything really just try to pout it try to get a fish there's a crab bait with a circle so give this a go we'll see if anyone takes this but at the minute it's pretty barren. Uh, the wind's dropped off, the sun's just dropping. Not a bite all day, but uh, there were a few rays come out here last night. So I just put an anchovy on. Hopefully that can attract some. And usually, if there's not a lot of fish around, I don't know what it is about anchovies, but they seem to find a fish or two so get this one out and hopefully see something
Yeah, it's been absolutely barren all day. But like I said, I don't really expect the fish until the flooding. It's an orange the flood now. So uh fingers crossed something turns up. We'll get back to you. Well I've moved off the big rock now. Don't want to get caught off on that gully, I fell off it before. So I've moved across. Absolutely flat now. Expect a fish, but still pretty quiet. It was absolutely perfect. Just nothing there. Well, I've stuck it out all day. I don't know what this is going to be like on this camera. My cobra just died. Tiny little small eyed, but it was a target what I was after. Um, well, I'll unark him and get him back. Hopefully there's a bigger one out there. But like I say, six hours and that's the first bite I've had. See the uh, sandy and squid in his mouth. Hopefully there's a bigger one. Right, it's a bit better one. Just had this one. Uh, got nine pound eleven. Female there. Just gonna get her back. But yeah, uh, happy with that one. Beats a blank.